What's up everybody, it's your boy Ken Andrew Daly and today I got a KD transformation. BAM! I got this from the thrift store for three bucks. I don't really know if this is a, like a local school team. Some guy came from like Nebraska, came to San Diego, decided to thrift something. I'm not really sure where this t-shirt came from, but it's a jersey. Uh, it's like a baseball jersey. I guess their team was called the Rattlers because you got Rattlers and then the S is like a snake because you can see that. Um, I don't know why I'm explaining it. But anyways, on the back you got a three in the back. What I really want to do is nothing too crazy with the tee. I actually just like the tee by itself. I just want to customize the sleeves today. Very simple. I want to switch it up with, with this piece of fabric that I got from the thrift store as well. Whoa, wait. Is this a... What is, oh my god, this is not, I thought this was more, okay, okay, so, uh, I thought this was like a whole yard of fabric, but legit, I just picked up some placemats, nice, so I'm gonna have placemat sleeves, uh, on my, on my, on my t-shirt, that, this is gonna work out great, whew, I should have thought about this through, I should have looked through the fabric, embarrassing, oh, jeez, uh, this is this is kind of bad. I didn't realize these were placemats. I'm gonna still do it anyways. This would look really cool with the the t-shirt itself. So let's see how this transformation kind of pans out. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn the t-shirt inside out and grab your seam ripper and seam rip the sleeves off. I don't know about you, but seam ripping is probably one of my pet peeves i hate seam ripping seam ripping seam can i talk seam ripping is probably the most tedious and difficult and not difficult thing about sewing simply because you have to seam rip the seam a certain way so you don't rip the piece of clothing or piece of fabric and also you have to be very very careful because if you go too fast you rip the fabric part if you go too slow it's just gonna take forever. Now that the sleeves are removed, I can use those sleeves to create the new sleeves, place that sleeve over the placemat fabric. I'm just gonna call these the placemat sleeves, the exclusives, uh, the one of ones, cause no one else has ever thought of using placemat fabric or using an old placemat as sleeves. Anyways, place that sleeve over the fabric, flip the fabric onto the wrong side so I can pin the sides. There you go, sides, predicted the future, what you know. You know what's so crazy? I used to horizontally pin my fabric. That's the worst thing that I possibly have done in my whole sewing career. So I take the sleeves to the sewing machine and do my stitcherinos along the open end of the sleeve. After I finish sewing, you get a little nice look of the sleeves. Well, bam, oh my gee, those are looking like fly little placement sleeves, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, turn the sleeves right side up, place that right into the armhole of the t-shirt. You know what? I'm just going to talk about this real quick because I feel like a lot of people have problems with this. Sewing sleeves is probably the second worst thing besides seam ripping. And the reason why is because if you just don't get the measurements right, you're pretty much pissed off for the rest of the day. And if you pin it wrong, you're pretty much pissed off for the rest of the day. So anyone that's having trouble with pinning the sleeves or doing sleeves, don't worry. Don't ever feel intimidated by sewing or sewing sleeves or anything sewing related. Say you want to make a bomber jacket. Say you want to make a backpack, say you want to do something extraordinary, go ahead and do it. You know, the one thing that sets people back is not having confidence in themselves to make something. So if you just have confidence in yourself, this is the one thing that I, I, I always had a problem with is just confidence to do something with sewing. One day I just woke up and I was like, hey, screw that. I'm going to make whatever I want to make and nothing should stop me. That is the best mentality that you can have as a sewer. So here is the transform look of the T on body. As you can see, you got the exclusive place matte sleeves. Um, it just kind of adds, and I like how the color kind of matches with the logo in front. It looks really cool. And then from the back, here you go. Well, bam. So that was the transformation. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see a bunch of other videos similar to this one, here's a couple playlists you can check out. But anyways, thanks for watching. It's your boy, Kent Andrew Daily, and remember to keep it daily. Peace!